my dear friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Barbara and today we're going to be looking at the descendant and the sign of Aries. So this video is for you if you do have your seventh house in the sign of Aries. Also, if you have Mars in the seventh house, this video might resonate with you as well. So if you have your descendant sign in the sign of Aries, what does this mean? The descendant deals with our relationships, the relationships we might be attracted to, but it can also deal with our shadow sides. Most of the time when we are in relationships, partnerships, friendships even of some sort, they're going to reflect back to us things that we might not see within ourselves. Relationships really do help us grow. So for those of you who have your descendant in the sign of Aries, basically what this means for you guys is you guys are going to be very attracted to ambitious people, go-getters, maybe even entrepreneurs, maybe people who are in managerial roles, people who are leaders of some sort. Now, a shadow aspect of this is First of all, when you attract these people into your life, what might happen is you were just attracted to the ambition and not the actual person. And sometimes you might be attracted to someone's potential and they might not live up to that, right? So they might be just saying they're ambitious or they might have these goals, but after they don't live up to these goals, you might not be interested in this person anymore. Another thing, if you have your descendant in the sign of Aries, what might happen is, first of all, you guys could be aromantic. You guys could also want to be very much not just single, but you might not be interested in the traditional way of relationships, right? Because Aries is all about the self. You guys might come off selfish in relationships or self-centered. You're really about your independence and you value independence. So if you're able to manifest someone into your life who is on the same page as you in terms of independence, allows you to be in the unit, but also to be able to be free and independent and have a life outside of the unit, well then in that case, you guys are going to thrive. Also, with the Aries Descendant, you guys are going to be interested in going on adventures, doing new things, starting new things with your partner. You guys could also be interested in maybe starting some sort of business with your partner or something of this sort. Really the starting energy, the go-getting energy, going after ambition, all these sorts of things. Now, a shadow aspect might be that you guys don't express anger, okay? So someone that you guys might manifest into your life might reflect that to you, okay? You guys might be the type that says, hey, I'm not angry, I don't get angry, and then you manifest this person into your life and they just make your blood boil because again, relationships are showing us the shadow aspects of ourselves. So this is my quick little video on the descendant and the sign of Aries. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of the day.